Hello friends, welcome back to another Cookie Run video. This is my beginner's guide for Cookie Run Oven Break in 2021. So for those of you who may have stumbled into this video and have no idea what Cookie Run is, a mobile game for you to get addicted to. So Cookie Run Oven Break is a mobile game available to iOS and Android, and you just download it from the App Store. And it's a pretty simple premise, it's a 2D endless runner with platforming involved. So you basically control this character and avoid obstacles, much like the dinosaur running game in the Google Chrome. And you control him until he runs out of health or you hit enough obstacles. And then your high score is counted for, depending on the game mode, some sort of reward. So that's basically the gist of Cookie Run. When you download it, you'll see a tutorial. So you won't start off on this screen, but you'll start off with a tutorial where you control the main stay, the mascot of Cookie Run Oven Break, which is this character named Ginger Brave. And his backstory is that much like the fairy tale, he was captured by the witch to be created as a snack and he somehow got consciousness and decided he wants to escape. So that's his backstory. And you basically control him in one of two ways. You have two buttons on the screen, jump or slide. You either press jump to jump over an obstacle. Uh, you can press it twice to double jump, which is a core mechanic, or you just slide underneath things. The tutorial will kind of run over that. And then once you're done the tutorial, you're kind of thrown into this lobby screen, which is what you see here. And here is where you will land in the game every time you start the app from now on. So there might be a lot of buttons, but when you first start, you can kind of ignore a lot of these. The main menu lobby, you can showcase one of the cookies that you like. The most important button on this screen is on the bottom right, the play button. So the play button will take you to one of the three slash four main game modes that is available in Cookie Run Oven Break. The original game mode is called Trophy Race, which I don't believe gets unlocked when you start the game. Instead, you want to play the breakout game mode. So even within the breakout game mode, you're kind of split into three sub game modes, but they all kind of play the same way. They're just three different maps for the breakout game mode. And how it works is that go into one of these breakout map and or levels, whichever you want to call it. And then you choose the cookie that you want to run with, the one that is highest level, basically. And then you just run and you get rewards at the end of each reward period, which could be three to four days. And then you basically repeat over and over again to get rewards. This is the best way to get ahead in Cookie Run or advance your progress in Cookie Run is through breakout rewards because it's the most consistent. It's there throughout the event and it's there basically guaranteed every four days. You just have to run and complete the run with the most amount of uh, points. So that is basically your main progression. The next mode that you have is called Cookie Trials. So Cookie Trials is actually relatively new for players that have played this game for a long time. So Cookie Run Trials is a way for you to get a high score with each specific cookie and you get rewarded based on the number of points you get as well as completing these mini side missions. So that's another way for you to progress. And then finally, there's a third mode, which is called Trophy Race, which is the original concept for Cookie Run. So how it works is that you press play and queue up or when you say queue up, that means trying to find a match against other people. So the original Cookie Run concept is that you play this endless platformer against other people. So you go into a matchmaking system and you play against nine other people. And depending on the land, so when we say land in Cookie Run, it's the map. Depending on the map, you want to customize your cookies layout or, uh, which cookie you want to get the maximum amount of points. And then you keep playing until you get the high score or until the timer runs out. And then based on your high score, you're ranked in that matchup lobby, and then you get rewarded based on that. So those are the three main game modes that is available in Cookie Run. So if that interests you, then that is basically what you're gonna be experiencing in Cookie Run aside from events, which we will get into later. So talking about the economy now of Cookie Run. So there is a gacha element in Cookie Run. For those of you who don't know what gacha means, it means that there's a random chance for you to get certain items or 
in-game characters based on kind of luck and depending on what you get that might help you or not help you as much in the game. Going back to the lobby, there is literally a button called Gacha on the left there with a treasure chest. And that is how you spend the main resources in the game. So the two main resources you have in the game are gems and coins. So coins is the quote unquote free to play currency, which you'll earn basically throughout any mode and throughout uh, a lot of different stuff. Whereas gems is more of a pay to win currency. What that means is that it's more rare. It's hard, harder for people to earn it as it is to uh, purchase it from the package shop. But yeah, that's basically the two main currencies. In Gacha is where you spend your currencies to upgrade your characters. In this case, your gingerbread characters. We call them cookies. So this is where you upgrade your cookies by purchasing these chests. So I have a whole video on uh, how to best spend your gems. But the simple uh, answer is that you want to spend your gems on the best possible uh, special edition of each of these categories. And then you basically want to save up for one particular cookie. That is the best strat because unless you are willing to spend on this game, which I mean, that's up to you guys if you enjoy this game. But until you are spending on this game, it is very hard for you to keep up with the constant releases of new cookies. So instead of spending 3,000 or 6,000 gems on one special cookie chest, it might be better to pick out the one that you want and save up and try to upgrade one cookie to the max level at one time. There is a fourth tab other than the cookies, pets, and treasures called the costumes. So costumes is purely cosmetic, but there is a little bit of a point boost for having the costume on the corresponding cookie. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Most of the time it doesn't make that big of a point difference until you're at the end game. So I wouldn't worry about that since it's a beginner's guide. So yeah, that's how the economy kind of works and how the gacha elements play into this game. Back to the lobby. If you click on the cookies on the bottom left, there are three types of playable resources that you have in Cookie Run, which I kind of didn't break down in the gacha, but I'll break down now. So obviously in this game that is centered around gingerbread characters called cookies, you have the cookies themselves. So this is the playable character that you control in Cookie Run in order to get points as well as it controls how you lose health when you run into obstacles. So that's the character that you enjoy. These are like the main characters in the game and they're constantly getting released almost every other week or updated every other week. So there's never really a downtime because there's constantly new things coming out. Corresponding to each cookie, almost every cookie is a corresponding pet. So in the next tab, we have pets and in pets, this is where you have a helper almost to your cookies. So they don't run into obstacles. They just kind of hover behind the current playing cookie. And what happens is that each pet will have an effect and its own ability that helps you out, whether it gives you more points or more health, or sometimes it might get rid of an obstacle or it might help you when you fall down from the map. So you got to read for each of the description for what it does, but pets are mainly helpers. And in my other video for best things upgrade, you don't want to upgrade pets early because the pets themselves don't give more health most of the time. Whereas upgrading a cookie is more beneficial for you if you're playing the game in the early stages. And then finally, we have the third tab, which is treasures. So treasures is a boost, depending on the treasure, it is mainly for boosting your score once again. Each of them have a different effect. They mostly give points and there's no real uh, way to decide what's better or worse. There are a few treasures that are good in a lot of different game modes. However, due to changes in the breakout game mode, before in breakout, you could repeatedly use the same treasure. Now you cannot. So in break, so you want to have as many treasures as you can, basically. There's no downside to upgrading a soul treasure, as well as in the gacha is really hard in the treasure gacha to pick out a specific treasure. Like you can increase the chance, but Usually you just get random treasures anyways. So there's no right or wrong. You just want to upgrade all of your treasures. To summarize, you have three different resource types. 
So you can see that in each resource type. So for example, cookies, there are different tiers. There is the basic, rare, epic, and legendary. Unfortunately, I haven't, I don't remember the last time a rare or basic type of cookie pet has been released. Well, I do, but as for anyone that is playing new, you basically don't want to worry about it. Only focus on epics or legendaries. You will pick up basic and rare type cookies on your way. It just happens, so don't worry about that. Focus on the epics, and if you can, focus on the legendaries. Those are the ones that are going to give you the big points. Okay, so let's move on to the third part, which is events. So uh, what, everything I just talked about were the core parts of playing Cookie Run for a beginner. The next part is, okay, you've gotten the hang of playing, but now you want to try something else. So Cookie Run Oven Break is really good at doing that for the players is that every week, about every week, there is a new either major or minor update to the game. So that could be something like changing up the score of the cookies or changing up or adding a new event to play or adding a new mechanic or some sort. So every week, about a week, you'll get something new to play with. So that is also an additional way for new players to earn resources. So most of these events require you to play in certain game modes or play certain, uh, sorry, complete certain criteria in the game in order to earn better resources for the game. So playing, building, so playing through these events every week will guarantee that you progress in the game and that will be very helpful and beneficial for you in the early game, what we call early game. There are a few additional modes that I'm not going to go over just because you kind of discover them on the way as well as you don't really unlock them at the start of the game, which is the point of this video is that it's a beginner's guide. So if you are just starting out, these are the basics for you to get started. There is one thing that I kind of left out that is kind of complex on its own, which is called magic candies for cookies because I'm kind of expecting when you start the game, you get the tutorial for what magic candies are. And also you don't really unlock magic candies until your cookie gets upgraded past level four. And until you get a cookie that even has a magic candy that might not be applied to you for a while. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, if you look on my YouTube, there will be additional guides for uh, each of the game modes or different aspects of the game. I'm gonna just kind of keep this geared towards the beginners to this game or people that have no idea what Cookie Run is. So yeah, I'm going to end it off on that note. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to come up with more Cookie Run content as well as talk about a another Cookie Run game by the same publishers that is coming out soon. So if you're interested, make sure to uh, like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to connect with me on any of my socials, uh, you can DM me directly in uh, Discord or Twitter. But yeah, hope you guys found this game or found this guide useful as well as find the game fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.